Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Total Biscuit. I'm here to ask and answer one simple question for you. WTF is Trino. Trino appeared on Steam a couple of days ago. Pretty cheap and cheerful by the looks of it. Action, indie, puzzly sort of game. We're going to give it a try. It started off with the message best played with Xbox 360 controller, which is not necessarily a good sign for a PC game. But nonetheless, you do have the option of keyboard only, mouse and keyboard, and Xbox 360 controller. It also has a funny tendency, I'm not pressing any buttons here, by the way, to scroll for me. Thank you. I was very, very lazy. Uh, no options of any description in terms of visuals, but I assume it's pretty damn simplistic anyway, so... Not really a factor. Right. Let's kick it off and see exactly what we've got. I've had a look at the how to play, but I'll give you a quick look at it nonetheless. Basically, you trap enemies by doing triangles around them and creating a trap. You close the map by connecting all of these convex points, I believe, at the side of the level. And you collect evolution points to boost your triangle ammo and get a bunch of different power-ups. So, without further ado, we shall give it a kick off and see exactly what we are playing with. Onwards, little Trino. Mm, nice little bit of art there. Very... That looks suspiciously portalish, I have to say. Okay, right. Nice and chilled out, apparently. Movement, standard left analog stick, no problem. Place the drop point, make a triangle. Right, and I assume one does not want to run into that. Okay. Trap you. Yes, I would love to. You will not let me. There you go. Eat me! What? Why would you want me to do this? I cannot imagine. Some kind of death wish evil portal. They look... Ah! Damn it. <laughs> they look really similar to the sentry guns from Portal. Unbelievably similar. But hey, whatever. We'll go with it. Yeah. Get back here. Now, it looks like you have a limited number of triangles, so you do want to be a little bit careful. There we go. Grab some evolution points. Nice, chilled out, relaxed music. Although, that said, it's a kind of a hectic game, really, so... Now, I know for a fact that I'm supposed to sort of connect these points up. I don't know if you do it this way. I don't think you do, from what I can tell. Zap. There we go. I assume catching multiples will give me bonuses, one would think. Yeah. There we go. Triangle power up. Right, I don't know. Oh, will that actually allow me to do that now? Oh, that's a green thing. That looks good. Let's, let's get the green thing. Touch me. Ooh. And you shall give me a satisfaction. No. No total biscuit. None of that. Okay, so I can now draw two triangles at once. Yay, collect more green. Right! I'm cool with that. Collect more stuff! Perfect. Any game that tells me to collect more stuff, I'm very happy with. Because that's the kind of thing I like to do the most. Goodies! Get damn it. Get back here. There you go. Actually, trapping more than one thing in this setup is kind of tricky, considering the trap only exists for a couple of seconds before it disappears. I have to wonder if you sort of do it in advance, but apparently not. You've only got a certain amount of time. Da -da -da, da -da -da -da, there we go. We're getting the hang of this, at least. Nice and sort of simplistic. Yeah, there we go. See, you got a combo. Did it benefit me in any way, shape, or form? Well, it gave me an achievement. Okay, right, we're closing the map, folks. Yes, we are. How are we planning on doing that? This way, I assume. Uh, there we go. Done. Right. Well, that was simplistic enough, I think. And it gives me points. Gives me score. Good. I even get myself yet another achievement on Steam. So very important. Uh, this one is a diamond shape. Or a rhombus, as some people will describe it. And they would be accurately accurate in doing so, I believe. Right. Grab one. There we go. So, green stuff is good. I don't know why green stuff is good, but green stuff is good. So, that isn't green, though. That's something entirely different. It's yellow. Oh, extra life. Fantastic. Nothing wrong with that, is there? Up two. There we go. Ah, sod. You do die so very fast if you're not paying attention, though. Instant death if you touch any of these creatures. No, I think not. Not happening. Evil portal rip-off things. The portal is alive, folks. It didn't really exist. You know, I'm not gonna criticize them too much for that. It's a it's a fairly common space age kind of squiddy shape, isn't it? Made of metal, got red thing. Grab that damn it, get over here. 
you do have to be incredibly quick and your ship doesn't actually move that fast. I assume it's a ship of some description. Or it's a traino, whatever a traino actually is. The only thing you're up against, aside from, of course, dying, is your life count and your timer. If you don't finish it in time, then yeah, GG. Right, so every time you collect a green thing, you light up one of those convex points so you can actually finish the level. So getting the green thing seems to be a bit of a priority. I'll right, grab two. Ugh. You don't even have to get that close. You don't have to make direct contact with them. It will still kill you. So do watch out for going too close to these damn things. Grab one of those. Right, that I think should fill everything up. So let's close it off. And preferably not run into anything in the process. And the music gets very excited at the possibility of this. Right, okay, you can't do it that way. Right. Try to think of the way you could do it. Well. Oh, right, okay, you can just leave the trap going. So that's not really a problem at all. There we go. Yep, more achievements. feel like I'm genuinely achieving things, as you might imagine. Now, there's supposed to be other kinds of triangles, but haven't been introduced to those just yet. New kinds of enemies. Swanky. And somehow I did not kill them. Those ones actually home in. Right, okay. This is where things start to get a little bit more hectic and away. I don't like you anymore. Assuming I ever liked you in the first place. I was just being polite. You know those guys you invite to the parties and they steal all your crisps and drink all your beer and things like that? You know, th that's what these guys are like. I was pretending to like the fact that they're there, but in reality, I hate their guts. They must die. I am socially awkward, Trino. Bad host, Trino. Oh, no. There we go. Grab a blue. And once you start getting going, you can do this pretty rapidly. And you have to as well. It's kind of a unique way of doing things. Reminds me a little bit, actually, of a very old school game. It went by a number of different names, one of which was Sticks. And it involved, if you remember, drawing off squares in a grid. And you could trap things within them to kill them. And you had to take a certain percentage of the board in order to win. And there were always things traveling along the lines to try and get at you. Kind of reminds me of that in, in sort of inspiration. It's certainly not the same kind of game, but it just gives me vibes along those lines. You know, not being able to directly attack and having to draw geometric s shapes in order to win. Okay, looks like I can close the map, although it's going to be a little bit more difficult with this nonsense going on, i tell you that for a fact. La la la! Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Come on, come, in, come into my parlor, said the spider and the fly. Oh, damn it. Not quite at the right angle. Trapping those is quite tricky. But the music is encouraging me, willing me on. It knows I must succeed. I want to be the very best. But I'm not going to be at this rate. Hey, there you go. Sod. Ing. Hell. I have one life. One life remaining. One life. Gotta live it. Must live up to my dreams. What is my bucket list? Do tell me, Trino. What do you plan to do with your measly existence? Destroy the heathens, he says. Yes, there we go. This gets rapidly difficult quite quickly. Could get a little bit samey, but again, it's not a very expensive game. This is like about £3.50, so it's about 5 bucks. Kind of a neat concept. Presentation's pretty good. Sodding that dag. It has an evil red screen of death. Oh well, we'll deal. Levels get progressively harder as we go along. Can I get both of you? There you go. Yeah, so it's about sort of seeing how far you can really go in terms of making the trap and trying to take advantage of the fact that they have a tendency of following you all the time. See if you can run them into something unpleasant. There you go. And as far as I can tell, you might as well just... I'd say you probably might as well just spam these, but... I don't know. I don't think you have any limits, so I assume you can just spam triangles all the time, which is really what you should be doing. Because, after all, why not? Might as well always sort of have a trap in the making. And grab four there, there we go. Am I get more achievements? I do not get more achievements for that. Damn it, I want my virtual merit badges. There we go. Power up, for ch so I can make 
like 50,000 triangles now. And you know, I was wondering how it would actually beat this level, considering that it does have five points. But yeah, there you go. Bear in mind, though, if you're placing all of these triangles down, you've got to do them sort of in rapid succession, because once the first one disappears, the rest do as well. So, yeah, get, get out of it! They're sneaky individuals, folks. They want to steal everything you have, ruin your lives. They refuse to fly into my carefully laid traps either. Damn them and their artificial intelligence. There we go. Much better. Feeling a bit more confident of this now, but it does get more hectic. I wonder what other enemy types they can actually put into play. Hopefully it doesn't burn out quickly into it. There we go. We'll check and see if there's any other modes as well while we're on. Close it, folks. Okay, here we go. This will be... Let's try that one again. This will be glow. Yeah. You know, no doubt someone in history that was saying that and giving this an inspirational speech before being blown away by an alien life form. I'm that dude. If that's not a historical figure, then I'll be very disappointed. Okay. Like, we get the idea behind this, don't we? Ah, pretty. Right, okay. So, there's a couple of other things we do need to check out. Will this actually quit the entire game? I certainly hope so. There we go. Right. There is a level select feature and there's an online leaderboard. Which crashes the game. Okay. Problematic. <laughs> you are now seeing a black screen. I'm going to be going back into the game. Don't go to the leaderboard because your game will fall over. Hmm. Now, of all of the things that you are likely to break, I didn't think the leaderboard would be one of them. But apparently, yes, it is, according to the Trino team. That's something they do need to fix. Starting recording back again in three, two, one, Mark. Or Jim, whoever you prefer. Okay, we are back into the magic of Trino. So that breaks it. Does level select break it? No, it doesn't. Well, let's see how many levels there are. Quite a few. Three chapters worth, apparently. Yeah, but that is actually quite a few levels. We'll just have a quick look on Steam and see exactly how many it claims to have. Stop with your bloody double music crap. So there's eight, 18 enemies in 48 stages. And it's supposed to topple three nano, nanite swarm leaders across three realms, etc, etc. Is, why is it making so much noise at me? What? Shut Quiet, damn it! <laughs> It's trying to... I don't know. It's trying, it's trying to get my attention for whatever reason. It's a kind of evil life form. Right. Now, we need to test this with mouse and keyboard because some people don't have 360 pads. So, you know, so far, it's it's a pretty fun concept. It's not going to set the world on fire as many of these games really don't. But for a first effort, for something that's sort of a proof of concept in a pretty enjoyable and very cheap and cheerful casual game, it's not bad. Right. We're going to try mouse and keyboard. See how that works. Okay, right, so what are the controls with mouse and keyboard? Well, for one thing, I can't scroll through the menus with it. So, I'm going to unplug the 360 pad. See if it actually lets me scroll through the menus. It does not. Okay, right, so you've got to do this instead. Fair enough. What are the controls? Mouse, point, move, yeah. And I assume you move with W, S, and D. Let's find out if that is actually the case. Level select. It's got level five. So, yes, I know. Best play, but it keeps reminding me of this. Oh, right. It's not even W, S, and D. It's, I thought it said it was mouse and keyboard. It's not mouse and keyboard at all. It's just mouse and mouse. Right. Well, the problem with mouse and mouse is that Trino is really freaking floaty because he follows the cursor around. And, ah, it's eating me stuff. God damn it. It's an evil crawfish thing. Right. There we go. You can move quite rapidly, but as a result of sort of having to follow that, it it is a little tricky. It It's not impossible. Like, I've got to emphasize this. Very important to emphasize that it's not impossible. My God, those things move fast. Ah, just fall into one of my traps, please. Stop eating me stuff. These are irritating as hell. Come on. Ah, just, I can't do it. Just sit, just sit, come off it, just... Oh my god, these are the worst enemies of anything ever. Oh, jeez. Because they speed up once they see a line, and then they just completely destroy it. Naturally, they won't travel through it, but yeah, actually blocking them in is really hard. 
And there's some of the enemies that actually have the green glowy thing that you need to actually finish the mission in, so... Not too good. Get, 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 get away! <sighs> yeah, getting the hang of that is tricky. But yeah, the controls are a bit more floaty with the mouse because they do follow the cursor, but not too bad. How about just keyboard only? Be interested to know that. Like, see, you know, there's not a lot else to say about this game, so I might as well show you how it works with all of this. Right, okay, so... What is the triangle button? What is the freaking triangle button? Oh, it's A, okay. Right, so this is cursor keys plus A, which... This is okay. Admittedly, again, slightly less precise control because you have no analog, but it works fine. You know, you're just limited to eight directions, as you might imagine, which could probably be disadvantageous later in the game because you don't have quite as precise amount of control over the triangle trap things. And that's how you deal with those evil crayfish. Okay. But yeah, that, uh, it's not bad, actually. It, it It's not a game I see myself playing an awful lot of. It might be something that I'd maybe come back to every now and again to play a few levels. I suppose it really depends on whether or not you really dig the concept. Because to me, there doesn't seem to be any replayability beyond beating all 48. There's no multiplayer, there's no co-op, there's no challenge mode. And the leaderboard doesn't work, so if you are interested in score attacks, then you're not going to get very far there. But it is pretty cheap and cheerful. It's $5, £3.50 on Steam by Trino Team. And it's just quite nice. It's not great. I wouldn't even say it's very good. It's not average, though, because it does have a little bit of originality in the concept. So I'd say, yeah, it's okay. It's pretty good. Well, if I was going to give it a rating, and I hate giving ratings, you know, I'd probably give it a 6, which is slightly above average. No, we don't go on the GameSpot rating scale of anything below 8 is the worst game of all time. Uh, good solid 6, good solid first effort, pretty well presented, need to fix a few bugs. Would be nice if it had a couple more modes to give it some longevity, but otherwise, not a bad title. Okay, folks, there you go, that was Trino for you, and I will see you next time.